HD3 setup is very easy. Everything needed is in the box. Let's look at the setup guide in the owner's manual package and check to make sure we have all the component parts before beginning to set it up. First, we need to insert the kick pedal assembly into the right coupler at the bottom of the stand. Once it's inserted, secure it in place with the two provided bolts and the drum key. Using the drum key, place the bolts into the two holes at the bottom of the stand and turn them clockwise until they're tight. Now, place the left hi-hat assembly into the left coupler. As you did previously, use the two bolts to attach the hi-hat assembly into place. For safety's sake, place the kick and hi-hat cables into the cable holders on the pedal assemblies. Then, plug each cable into the jack found on the nearest pedal. Keep in mind, the hi-hat and kick pedal assemblies are the foundation for the entire HD3 drum set. Make sure that all four bolts are securely tightened. If they aren't, the stand may wobble. With the foot assemblies in place and the pedal cables plugged in, it's time to raise the stand. We need to open up the four arms that the tom and cymbal pads are mounted on. To do this, loosen the hand knob on the T-fitting. First, open the upper left arm, then the lower left arm, followed by the lower right arm and the upper right arm. Slide the upper left and right arms to the highest position possible. You can adjust them later when fine-tuning the HD3 setup to your needs. Once the forearms are open and in place, be sure to tighten the hand knobs by turning them clockwise. This will keep the arms securely in place. Now that the snare is in place, press on the head to check the tension. If the head is too loose, use the drum key to tension the head, moving between tension rods diagonally across the head as shown. Unlike an acoustic drum, the tension rods are tensioned from the underside of the snare pad. When the snare head is properly tensioned, it's ready to play. For the appropriate setup of the crash cymbal, loosen the bolt with the drum key, move the cymbal rod to the desired height, and retighten the bolt. Finish by placing the cable in the cable clamps on the cymbal rod. Repeat this process for the ride cymbal. Now let's mount the cymbal pads. Loosen the cymbal knob and remove both it and the felt washer. Next, place the cymbal on the stand like this. Make sure that the rubber playing area of the cymbal is towards you, the player. If the Roland logo reads correctly while you're sitting at the kit, then it's correct. Replace the cymbal knob and felt washer, tightening it so that it isn't too tight or too loose. There should be a little movement when you hit the cymbal. Repeat this for the second cymbal. To mount the sound module, slide it over the mounting plate on the top of the stand and secure it using the two provided thumb screws. Next, attach the cable connector to the sound module. Once the connector is fully seated to the module, use the two thumb screws built into the connector to lock it in place. Now, it's time to plug in the rest of the trigger cables to the pad output jacks. Each cable is labeled, so be sure you plug it into the correct pad. Next, check the stability of the stand. If needed, turn the rubber adjusters, making sure that all feet are in firm contact with the floor. Turn the two front adjusters first, then, if needed, turn the back adjuster. Finally, it's extremely important to adjust each pad height to fit your body. Proper posture and playing position is essential for good practice. Make sure to take the time and make sure your setup is comfortable. Remember, it's very important that the pads be at the proper height to allow a relaxed, natural playing position. Now, plug in the provided power adapter to the side of the sound module and the AC plug into an appropriate power outlet. To power on the HD3, press the power button on the top right-hand side of the sound module until it lights up. And that's it. The HD3 is set up, and you're almost ready to play.